Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Resident Evil Village Part 3. In the last video, we explored much of Castle Dimitrescu and we actually killed three of her daughters. So if you missed that, you need to catch up. Uh, at the end of the last video, I actually discovered that we can use the metal ball in this thing and that's actually some kind of like obstacle course. So I'm interested in checking that out. Okay, so you tilt the ball. You can also rotate it. Is there, is there, wait, is there some kind of puzzle here? Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to tilt it so that it goes on these things, right? Oh, oh, like that. Okay, is, is there anything else? Any other obstacles? And then it just goes, wait, wait, wait. It just goes right here. Oh, there are there are there are holes. I didn't even realize. I wish I could see back there. There's some holes right here, right? Right. Oh, oh come on, come on. Right here. I got an achievement. Get the ball rolling. Get it? So I got a crimson skull. Are you okay? Who is clomping around? I mean, who do you think it is? Is she stressing you out, man? Here. Well then, feel free to peruse. <laughs> I could sell you what I just got if you want, right? Yeah, it's worth 8,000. Crystallized human remains found in the labyrinth of Castle Dimitrescu. Very valuable. Okay, I'm gonna sell it then. Does that make me a bad person? Splendid! Do you know it's worth? I mean, I'm assuming 8,000 lay. I'm assuming you paid me what it was worth, you crook. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Okay, well, you've been seeing a lot of them. Right, get out of here. I'm tired of you. The entire oh my God, bro. of House Dometresque is done in by the likes of you. I mean, we can create a new bloodline if you want. Somehow, I doubt you're open to that, though. Okay, I need to figure out. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go into the basement real quick. If, if that's okay. This is your house, after all. I'm just, I'm an outsider, intruder, horrible man thing, etc. Oh my god. Are you dead? Thank you. How'd you get in here? Okay, now I gotta go back, all the way back, down to the basement. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Completely missed that before. And wait. How, wait. Here it is. <laughs> I was like, did I completely miss it? Wait, are there just, there's just like new dudes down here. Look, here they are. Oh, wow, okay, well, um. Listen, I'm just here to, like, use my new key. So... Alright. Out of my way, please. Oh, brother. I need to use this up, but... Give me this stuff, thanks. Okay, where is it? Right here, yes. The secret door, let's go. Iron insignia key. Keep away from me. All right, what's this all about? Really? You're not gonna let me, why not? Okay, well these things are on fire. We just need to set these things on fire. That's all we gotta do. Um. Oh, will you get a life, dude? So these. These things are people that were tortured in the cellar, right? These things that keep stumbling in here and dying. Okay, so, do the pipe bombs... 
Does it? Okay, it does blow this up. <laughs> so I do need to get on this. Gotcha. Uh, oh, some free money. Thank you very much. What's this? Crystal fragment? What is that? I'll take it. It's money, isn't it? I heard the word crystal, so... <laughs> no, 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 you see, you're supposed to go that way. <clears throat> Dummy. No, 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 right there. Okay. Wanna play hardball, huh? <clears throat> there we go. Finally got it. Okay, now that, uh... Now that that one's lit, now we just gotta... Oh, no way. Oh, we gotta get them... Hitting each other. No, not that way, you idiot. There we go. Oh, wow. That's a really awkward puzzle. Very awkward puzzle to perform. To solve. That's an eyeball. That's an eyeball in there. Okay. Azure Eye. Now... Is this what I combine with the silver ring? It's combinable. Okay. Combine... Could probably combine this to complete the ring. I got an achievement. Repairer. Okay, so now... What? It's just a more valuable treasure, right? Okay, yeah, it's the Azure Eye Ring. Very valuable. So now I can sell it for a lot of money. And that's all I did this for. <laughs> okay, I'm back in the main hall. The entire no way. of House Domitresque is done in by the likes of you. Dude, she is super pissed. I just came to put my mask of joy up. And, uh, call me surprised to find a joyless surroundings. Okay, let's, uh, see, Angel of Anger. Let's see, Angel of Happiness. Let's just put it on. There we go. Did it. We lit it up. See, look, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. I'm lighting it up. I'm lighting it up. <sighs> you're too slow. I mean, you're, you're really impressive in a lot of ways, but you're very slow. Okay, I'm gonna go in here now. Welcome, hey. Ethan. Hey, yeah, you want you want to buy something? Um, the crystal fragments are worth more than the crystal skulls, which look like they have dozens of fragments. So riddle me that. Also, twelve thousand. Okay. You you this push a hard it. bargain. If you want to know how rich I am, just take a look. Super rich is the answer. I'm I'm part of the one percent in Resident Evil Village. Right now. So much so that I feel like I need to buy, like, leave this to me. upgrades. Because, I mean, what else am I going to do? Like, do I want to buy the recipe for the mines? Okay, <laughs> why not? Am I ever going to use it? Who knows? <laughs> Probably not. I'll buy all the ammo that you got. Because, basically, dude, I'm cleaning you out right now. You know that, right? Looking forward to tech. Yeah, sure. Good. Got an upgraded shotgun, and you know, why not? I'll buy one of these too. Yeah, you have nothing left to sell me. Okay, hi, it's me. Come on. Wait, do you think, do you think I can get away with this? I bet she's gonna turn around the la at the same spot. Oh! I don't think she saw me. You think she saw me? I think, weirdly, she didn't. Very impressive. Okay. I'm gonna stop complimenting myself. I said very impressive just now about myself. Okay. I don't care if you're after me right now because... You're not hitchhiking a ride on the elevator. Oh my god, you can't take the elevator up. No, you can, you can, you can. You can, I just... Can you please go up? Hello? Ugh. Yeah. Too, too bad, so sad. I don't even know if she was around. Huh. 
Also, I saw a glinty when I looked down just now. Okay, um, right. So we're up here on the rooftops, and I guess this is just where we go now. Okay, I'm gonna piss him off. Let's see, alt to zoom in. Oh, it doesn't even zoom in that far. Why is that even an option? Does that make a difference? That's right, Sniper Elite. Resident Evil Village Edition. Oh, look. Oh, you thought you could... Yeah. You thought I wouldn't notice? That's funny. Come here. Yeah, you thought I wouldn't notice, huh? Let's take that. I'm rich. Okay. I, I, I sniped that one just perching on the rooftop. Is Ethan okay, by the way? It's like he's got vertigo. Like, I got red on the edges of the screen and everything. Seems like he's not doing well. Okay, there's that one way up there, but I don't know what to do about it. Thank you for the money. You know, this reminds me of Castle Kanehurst from Bloodborne. This reminds me a lot. Actually, you know what? This game reminds me of Bloodborne a lot, just in terms of setting. Oh, he's way up there. Oh, look at you. Let's see. Can we get the shot? They're gonna come around here again, I think. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. I don't know why, I, why am I talking so much crap? Probably because I haven't died yet, and I'm starting to feel kind of cocky. I need to cool it. Thank you for that. Oh, and thank you for that. I killed another one over here. Um, yeah, let's go up. Nothing to do but vandalize more priceless possessions. Am I right, Ethan? Oh. Jeez, dude. Yeah, I, I would I would get kind of vertigo up here, too. This is very impressive, this castle. Is there a castle that exists like this in real life? This is gigantic. I mean, I've seen, you know, castles on TV shows and stuff. Like, I think HGTV has some kind of castle series. I watched a few episodes of. Anyway, enough of my 30-something shenanigans. Um, but I, I've never seen one quite like this. It's always like, yeah, there's like a tower, and you know, there's like 15 feet worth of ramparts, but then that's it. Oh, okay, this is a nice little, uh, Oh, and then we go back down to the... Yeah, actually, I'm fine with doing that because there's a little spot I missed over here, and I'm gonna go check it out. Anyway, I just thought I'd ask. I like to get y'all to Google things for me, and then your reward is that you can just pretend like you knew it beforehand. You can tell me stuff that you Googled, and then your reward is you get to be like, I knew that anyway. I didn't have to look that up, I just knew it. And we can all say, sure, Jan. All right, let's go up the ladder. It turns out that that was nothing. I remembered that there was a little rooftop, a little bit of rooftop that I didn't check out, and I was like, ooh, what if there's like a cool thing? And then it was just one breakable jar. Oh, this is the last mask. Mask of Rage. Oh. Okay. Angie. I should be able to get out with these. Look how weird it looks now with just the notches. I feel like we're about to get ambushed. Anytime the protagonist in a horror game says that they can now escape with confidence, that's when you know that uh, it's not going to go down like they thought. Something's going to happen. See, look. There's a little... It's like right here.
I don't know. Oh my god, I, I shot something off! A crystal fragment! What was it doing way up there? And that's now the red room is now blue. So if you, if you are unfamiliar with Resident Evil games, on the map, if the room is red, that means that there's still an item there or there's something that you haven't done yet, secret you haven't found. And if it's blue, that means that you've done everything there that you can do. So that's why I'm concerned about the red rooms. Anyway. Stupid man thing! You won't live long, even if you run! Oh man, I know you're supposed to, yeah, I know you think that that's intimidating, but it's like, it's, it's like doing things for me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, now this is awesome, this is great. Uh, we could live here happily ever after. You could chase me around, you could threaten me w with, with violence and that could just be, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the thing you don't want. See, that's you. That's you right now. And that's what I like about you, is this face right here. Uh, you're not making it right now, but you will. Oh my God. Yes. So, uh, I've I've lit all the fires. You wanna come with me through the door? Those It'll... Arms and legs. Oh boy. She's negging me again. I love it. Oh, she didn't come through me. She didn't come through me. Well, she didn't do that, but she also didn't come through the doors. Okay, well, see you later. <laughs> okay, so here's a very impressive tower. And uh, it's our next adventure. Oh, this is like a chapel? Whoa, what the hell was this used for? Hello? I'm sorry, what is this? You've ruined everything! Well, so was that like a special dagger? Oh no! She's growing wings! See, she's not just a bunch of flies. Wow, she's real big now. I feel like some of the magic is lost now. Oh my god. Well. Good one, Ethan. I'm sure she'll be crying herself to sleep tonight over that one. Wow. So this is... Yeah, I was about to say, all she had to do was just, like, knock me off the castle there. Oh my god. Oh, look at all this! What? That was so much ammo! Oh, she's gonna be, she's gonna be a toughie! Oh no, I don't, I don't doubt it. There you go. I am? Well, I'll treasure it. I'll, I'll treasure it forever. It's uh, it's going in my spank bank right now. Okay, I've I've missed a couple times. Just pretend like you didn't see it. I'm sorry to hear that. There we go. It's like uh, Salazar. It's like the Salazar boss fight in uh, Resident Evil 4. Wow. I, I've been waiting to hear those words this entire time. All 
right, there she goes. What was that? Oh wait, now she's a bunch of flies. What's that about? What's with? All right, um, let's go back to the pea shooter. So is this doing damage? Somehow I doubt it. Oh my god. Oopsie. Oh my god. So is she the dragon too? Or is the dragon like her pet? I think she's also the dragon. Weird. Uh. You know, I mean, Ethan can clearly regenerate a lot. I mean, he could set up something pretty nice with her where he gives her blood, but then he just regenerates it back. They could have a nice symbiotic relationship. But no, he wants like a normal relationship with uh, a woman who chainsaws his hand off. That's what he's into, I guess. I don't know how many hits this uh, this is gonna take. Sorry, what was that? Oh, have I defeated you? Not yet. You're a little too desperate now. Oh my god. Oh my god, ow. Ugh. Ah. I mean, uh, I guess I'll just have to kill you. Wow, she's so fast. Wow. Kill you? Thanks for cushioning my fall. <laughs> you did exactly what I wanted you to do. Oh no. There she goes. Bye bye. Sad ending for the entire Dimitrescu family. <laughs> I got an achievement. That sucked. You're the one who's cursed. Get her, Ethan. Yeah, great comeback. Uh, no, you're the one who's cursed. Uh, you said that I was cursed, but actually it's you. <laughs> yeah, get him, Ethan. Great job. Oh. Anyway, all right, well, it was uh, great fun playing uh, the tall vampire lady booby game, but now that it's over, 
Uh, I think we can reflect back on our time and say that this was one of the stranger Resident Evil games in recent memory, and uh, quite short, actually. I didn't think it would be as short as it was, but since it's clearly over, um, I guess we'll just move on to the next one. All right, thanks for watching. Think critically. I'm just kidding, but uh, I, I just thought it would be a good bit. Was it a good bit? I don't know. Are they ever good bits? I feel like they, are, they aren't. What is this? Huh? <laughs> I feel like Ethan just kind of like stumbles. He just kind of stumbles through the game and it's like, huh? I don't know. I guess. Uh, I guess I'll take this. Whatever. I guess I'll kill this thing. I guess I'll take this thing. <laughs> That's him. So where are we now? Look for Rose. Where are we? Oh, we're... I don't know. Okay, let's go in here. Let's look for Rose. Maybe she's in here. You never know. Uh, there's some rusted scrap. I guess I have to go right up to it in order to take it into my inventory. I finished that item that was requested. Please deliver it to the house with the red chimney. Go through the caves to the ruins, then down into the village. What? House with the red chimney. Are you serious? Are you serious, Capcom? Why even have that? Okay, I'm just gonna save. Okay, I guess, uh, or wait, do I go this way? First, before we go back there, um, okay, there's a drawbridge here. We need to figure this out. I wonder if it's like an RE4, if you can just like shoot the, uh, Shoot the supports, or... What's this? Oh, you just shoot the... <laughs> you just shoot the lock! Okay, do I go in here? Oh, this is like a whole thing. Alright, I'm gonna go back here first and then go inside the cave. So, I still need a crank for this. Uh, okay. It looks like I actually... Gunpowder in the outhouse. That's a new one. What would you have use for gunpowder in the outhouse? I don't know. Uh, looks like we need to come back here when we get the crank. There's a well, um, and other than that, there's nothing. So I'm gonna go into the cave now. Maybe we'll see Heisenberg again. And he'll wanna play another, like, minute and 30 second game with my life. Okay, no way back up now. That's it. Now what? Oh. Dude, achievement unlocked Hunter. It's like, I'm telling you guys, it's like Resident Evil 4. You shoot the fish out of the water. And it's amazing. I wonder if you can knife them. Probably if you're quick enough. Oh, that's, that's incredible. I like how in your inventory too, by the way, it, the 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 fish is uh, like cleaned. Not only is it like scaled and everything, but it's also it also appears cooked, does it not? Look, ingredient gathered from a fish. Let's examine this. Look, common ingredient cannot be eaten as is. Okay, that's important. So I guess it's not cooked then. I, I really appreciate like all the homages that I'm spotting to Resident Evil 4. Here our boys together as one in reverence. We call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, as the That's midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. Hey, remember me? I almost died up at that castle. Tell me what is going on around here. I have a How comment. Can a man after this. be almost dead? That's a question for the wise. You know what I mean. And I still haven't found Rose. 
Where did Mother Miranda take her? <laughs> you are too late. Or maybe almost too late. The child will be sacrificed, life for life. What kind of sick medieval shit is this? She's just a baby. The crests of the four bloodlines may open the path you seek. Will you please stop talking in riddles? I just want to find my daughter. It's only a riddle hey. if you don't know the answer. <laughs> That's the umbrella logo. Wait what? A that looks familiar. Yeah. Hey. Hey, wait. That's the umbrella logo. Hang on. Look. Look at it. Look at it diagonally. What? But umbrella has nothing to do with these four bloodlines. Does it? Okay. So that's the first observation. Uh, the second observation is, uh, remember in the very first video, okay, when all those characters that immediately died um, said that creepy prayer, and then Ethan was like, I've heard that prayer before from the, from the old lady in the graveyard. Uh, was he talking about this? Because this happens after that. I wonder if the developers, oh, there's Mother Miranda. I wonder if they originally had this taking place before that other sequence. Because I don't see how else that could have happened, unless we're going with my psychological horror theory. A key decorated with a bird, its wings unfurled. That's the winged key, nice. Because, I mean, that could explain everything. Then this is all happening inside Ethan's head. But I, I somehow doubt that Resident Evil is gonna go the psychological horror route, even though there have been a couple hints. There's been more than a couple hints, really. I mean, Come on, like he has he has a book in his house on Eastern European castles and keeps, and then he just so happens to be flung into a strange land full of Eastern European castles and keeps. It's interesting, at least. And you know, uh, brief theory time, actually. I was thinking about this while I was editing the last couple videos, actually. You know how in Resident Evil 7, um, Evelyn, the main antagonist, was obsessed with creating a family, right? And that's what happened with the Bakers, basically. So, it's interesting that in this game, there appears to be an another oddball family of dangerous people. Lady Dimitrescu, Heisenberg, their brother and sister, you've got Mother Miranda. I wonder if this is maybe the product of a character that we assume to be dead. Hmm. I wonder if Evelyn has something to do with this. Again, because, I mean, they could just be going with another, like, theme of family. A, a, a theme that's very strong, not only with the villains, but also with... Ethan, Mia, and his daughter Rose. They have their own family now. Also, if Evelyn was behind this, it would make sense why everyone knows who Ethan is. That's a very strange facet. And why Evelyn maybe wants to take Rose? I don't know, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but... I'm just trying to, like, make sense of all this, and... It's so, like, cartoonish and silly. Is this In a fun way. Oh, are these, like, ceremony site? Oh my god. Look, it's the umbrella logo! Come on, it's, it's the umbrella logo. This pattern looks really familiar. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, so I guess I gotta get, like, the four flasks here? For the four families, right? By the way, we are- I think we're nearby the village right now. So I don't think I can do anything here right now. Let's just go ahead and leave it. I'm going off to the side. Anyway, I just wanted to share some of my theories at this point, because that's, uh, that's one of the most fun parts of... One of the most fun parts of doing a, like a blind playthrough. Especially, like, like, this game clearly has some kind of twist. 
You know, it's not as simple as Resident Evil 4. You know, Leon, I'm gonna rescue the president's daughter. And then the main antagonist is like, oh, you just thought. I knew that you were gonna try to kidnap. Or I knew that you were gonna try to rescue the president's daughter. That's why you fell into my trap. It's. Like, this clearly has some kind of unexpected twist. Oh my god. We're back together with these guys, huh? No, I pressed control instead of alt. Because alt is a weird button for that. Got the headshot, though. He's dead. Okay, don't. Oh my god. I was about to say, don't fall down. Alright, time for the bullet sponges. Again. God, they get so close! Yeah, I've, I've got some upgrades now, though. Sorry, buddy. And there are only three of you? Don't make me laugh. I know it's just... Alright, let's go. Let's go get this guy. And what'd you drop? Rust... Metal scrap? How did... Where did you get this? Why are you holding on to it? <gasps> I've definitely missed like a lot of those goats. Okay, and I need a crank for this. Unless the, the key is for it. Okay, we need to get the crank. Oh boy. There's a boat! I wanna get to the boat. All right, we need the crank. Let's go. In here. Very dark. <laughs> Trying to conserve bullets. What are you eating over here? There's not even anything here. More metal scrap. Okay, um, aside from sniper rifle ammo, I'm actually like really low. So let's see what we got here. Um, I have tons. Let's get that. Let's get some of this. Yeah. I have tons of resources for crafting though, thankfully. And let's get this. Does this open? It does, okay. I've got- I've still got some stuff back there I want to check out, though. Don't let it close behind me. You don't let it close behind Okay. Huh? Doesn't fit into the lock. Well, what- What fits into the lock? Iron insignia? Um... Is there any kind of... Yeah, okay, none of the three keys I have fit. Yeah, let me see. Does it have... It doesn't say it on the map. Sometimes it'll say on the map, like... If there's a key that it fits. Huh. Rusted scrap. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Look at this, like, these ancient ruins. Crazy. Let's go. Back to the village. Ish. We're not quite there. This is the altar. Oh, cutscene time. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure if it's of value, but... Why, you have your daughter right in your own hands. What are you saying? Take a closer look. <laughs> what? Head. What? That flask seems to contain her head. No. What? Roses. Don't say another word. I'm sorry. What? 
Excuse me? This... This is impossible! This just can't be! Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. That makes sense that who, Rose who could even do this? powers. She can be saved, you know. Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point. You don't have to trust my word. But do you have any better options? <sighs> Your I guess choice. Not. The customer is always right. After all. all right. Just when I was starting to like you a little bit, Duke, you ruined it. You absolutely pay ruined if I it. Find out this is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking joker. <laughs> um. Okay. So, yeah. You got any new stuff for me? Ah, yes, yes. Huh? Oh my god, you do have new stuff. What is this? Recipe pipe bombs. 30k for extra baggage. By the way, if you're wondering how rich I am, I'll show you right there. 19k. That's without selling anything. Can also finally buy mines and... Ooh, high magnification scope. There's also a cheek rest for the... F2 rifle. Interesting. Um, well, let's Securing check out the gunsmithy. More important than anything, anything, my friend. I kind of want to just get this because I Leave use the handgun a lot. I use the handgun a lot, and it makes sense to upgrade that. Okay, Crystal Dimitrescu, twenty-five thousand. It's her crystallized remains. Elegant. Yet horrifying. I don't know. Should I keep it? I don't want to keep it. Let's just keep it. Should I sell some of these fish? <laughs> no, I'll keep. I'll keep the. I guess I'll keep the fish until it rots. Often. I guess I can part with it for twenty-five k. That's a fair price. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu, beautiful even in death. That waistline. Yes. Uh, oh, you're you're not you're not incorrect I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and we'll do them for us but still fee. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that I sold it to you now <laughs> kind of weird um let's go ahead and uh, or should I get should I go ahead and just get extra baggage now congratulations for 30k With this, you'll not worry about missing anything I trust you I'm also gonna take your recipe for pipe bombs and let's see, I've still got 6,000 left, which is not enough to buy much, but I can get rid of fire. One moment, please. Man, this, this gun is turning out to be, yeah, look at all this. I don't think I'm gonna have to upgrade storage come again. again for a while. I'm sorry, what am I doing? What do you want me to do? Oh. What's up? Is that Mother Miranda? What the hell? So, Mother Miranda. Hmm. Like I said earlier, um, so that the winged key opens this, I think. Oh, mine has two wings, and these require four. Like I said in a previous episode, uh, a lot of times in Resident Evil, you know, when new characters show up on the scene, they don't have any relation to older characters. So I'm gonna assume that Mother Miranda is like an all new character and not Evelyn. Cause that'd be kinda, I don't know how I'd feel about that twist. Let's go. Yes. We're back in the village. And now I've got all sorts of places I can go. Look at all this. Look, look. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go pick these locks manually, <laughs> you know. And then I'm gonna go. There's lock pick drawers. There's these iron insignia key houses. We got lots of backtracking to do, folks. Let's get a move on. Okay, let's do uh, lock pick on this one. Why not? Just the first one I came across. And uh, seven shotgun ammo, you know, as far, as far as they go, that's not bad. 
Oh no, I can't go back that way? Oh, that is frustrating, okay. I heard a scream from the house with the chimney. I was going to take a look, but the way was blocked by debris. Going to have to take the long way around. Who would have thought the hole in the stable walls would come in handy? If I'm not back by morning, you should go to Louisa's house alone. Father. Now remember, Louisa said that her husband was still out there. So we may, may we have yet to meet him, perhaps. Another lockpick? How many lockpicks am I supposed to get, dude? Wooden animal body. Oh, okay. I did unlock it. Are we okay out here? My god. Was it this that I heard? This village area is like weirdly kind of creepy. Probably the most atmospheric part of the game, I would say. Uh, move this. Oh my god. Give it a rest. Come on. Yeah, how does it feel that you didn't do anything? <laughs> you did nothing against me. Isn't that funny? So what were you guarding? There's gonna be something of value in these outhouses. Oh, this just, it's a dead body. Where am I now? Oh, I'm way over here. Okay, yeah, let's keep going. Was this? Could probably move this somehow. With what? Some kind of, maybe, maybe the crank? That I'm eventually gonna get, I assume? I could use to move that? Finally can go in here. What is this? Look out the window. Okay, so there's... A six number code. Look out the window. Um, okay, wait. 08, 07. Oh, this window, my bad. 08, 04, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, what? I don't think so. What a jump scare. So it's 07, 04, 08. Oh my god. 07 04 08 I assume that this is the yeah order I'm sorry that's a better gun no it's a better gun I've been upgrading the old one and is this a jack handle let's take a look at it a handle needed to operate a jack lift. Okay, uh, if it's okay with everyone, I'm gonna stop reading those because they're never they they never tell you extra information. It's just they describe the thing by <laughs> what it's called. They basically just rephrase what you already know from just knowing the title of the item. Ugh. Okay. Sorry. Are we really? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with doing this, sure. Oh my god, I missed. Wow.
really quickly. I'm glad I could pause time for this. What a wonderful time we live in. There we go. They were each just one shot off. How about that? Gunpowder, chem fluid. What was that you had? Oh, crystal skull. Nice, dude. Okay, so there were just like lots of guys. Just hanging out here. Give me this. Oh, you had gunpowder too? Oh, wow. All right, let's go ahead and uh, use the jack handle here to raise this up. Very impressive, so I can go underneath it now. And that is to get into this area of the town again? All right, I've decided I'll go underneath it. <laughs> Just somebody want attention. <laughs> mm. Okay. Let me <sighs> guess. You're on top. No? Oh, you're just gonna fake me out like that? Oh, you're not on top of it. All right. Look at you. Took care of that. Wait, what? Dude, I will kill this entire town's population. I don't care. Look at me. Does it look like I care? I care about as, as much as you, which is not at all. Am I going the correct way? No, this is actually like back. This is like, wait, you can go all the way back to the, to the crash site. Maybe not, actually, maybe not. Yeah, let's go this way, though. Thank you for the money. Appreciate it. Where? Dude, I love the sniper. You can just like, and then another. Okay, a couple more of them get kind of piss, get kind of pissy. But uh, do let's do it. Let's equip this. Come on. Oh, did you really do that? You just you just muscled through it. I've had that mind for a while. Did that mine kill someone? That mine killed another one, okay. I was about to say, that didn't even kill you? It seems like the mine should have killed you. But it did, it did, it just, it. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, far crying, what? Oh my God, you're armored. You would have been actually, hey, I've got the mine recipe, how much is it? Nice, bro. Let's get it. Okay. Equip. <laughs> oh, you didn't die from that? Okay. That didn't kill him? Oh, they're just tougher. I don't get it. No, you die. How is he so tough? Perfect crystal skull. That better be worth a lot. He was so tough, I got rid of his armor on his head and I was Getting headshots. I mean, this is an upgraded shotgun, but still. Okay, so what is this? Oh, this is a fully automatic shotgun or, or handgun, rather. Let's let's try this one out for a while. I'm gonna stop it. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in my uh, shortcuts now, and we'll try it out. It's fully automatic, so I might end up wasting more ammo. But it's a new gun, so I'm hoping 
is better. Oh yeah. Homeowner's not here. <laughs> Time for the wet bandits to strike. Or, or wet bandit, that's me. Actually, I'm not a wet bandit. Don't call me that. To whom it may concern, due to the Luthier's long absence, I'm keeping hold of his house key. Please find me if you need it. Regards, Joseph Simon, Beneviento's gardener. Okay, how am I supposed to find you? I guess we'll find a key with a violin on it. The fiddle key. I hope it's called the fiddle key. There's gonna be something good in these outhouses, and then y'all will be sorry. Ooh, a lockpick! I'm just saying, I know some of you guys out there are like, why does he keep looking in the outhouse? There's never anything in there. Well, now there was. Oh my god, I heard it. I heard it, I almost missed it. Oh, what? Okay. Oh my god. I missed. I hate how you stumble forward. You stumble for he stumbles forward right into me. I hate it. Oh, I flipped ya. <laughs> Reminds me of when you're playing killer in Dead by Daylight. You hit someone and you just they do a, an entire backflip. Like that, it's kind of funny. So what were you guarding over here that was so precious? 25 handgun ammo? No, good idea. Madalena body. Uh, sorry, what? What am I assembling? Okay, I'll look at the description for these. Part of a doll that's based on a local legend, okay. And this is part of a wooden toy, so uh, I guess I find different parts of these, huh? Perfectly preserved, crystallized remains of a lichen, very valuable. Well, I would hope so, because that thing took like 80,000 damage. All right, are we done over here? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, all right, let's go back out. Uh, there's an iron insignia key that I want to use here. To find something? Something good, maybe? Weren't there chickens in here earlier? Where's those chickens now? I mean, I'd be surprised if they were still alive. A well wheel? Wheel used for bringing up well buckets. Hell yeah, I can go use the, I can go use the wells now. Is there one nearby? No. There's one way over here. There's one over here. And there's actually not that many wells. Oh, there's one right here. Yeah, there's three wells. And then, can I use it on the drawbridge too? Probably not. Huh. Okay, actually, before we go up the ladder here, or do we want to go up the ladder? Let me go up the ladder. I was about to say, let me go back on the well. Oh, there's something. Metal scrap, look, chickens. I, okay, I'm sorry, but, oh my God, you can kill the chickens. But do you get anything out of it? Where am I right now? Oh look, chickens. Let me just top down. Look, no, the chickens do it. They leave poultry. What? Large crystal, okay, don't mind if I do. This is all worth money. Money, 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 money. I'm sorry. I need, I need things. <laughs> I, I need, I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me for killing these fake chickens that aren't real, they're not real. This hen is just a bunch of graphics that somebody made. It's locked from the other side. What? Huh. Oh look, there's a big X over the chickens! <laughs> there's a big X over the chickens. Like, look what you did, you killed all of them. I hope you're satisfied. 
Are you happy with yourself? Oh. Okay, yeah, that's the only thing that was in here was a pipe bomb. Oh, wow. Wait, where am I? Oh, I see. Can this open right here? Oh. You opened it, Leon. Okay, cool. This is awesome. Hey, let's use our first, our first well right here. What's it gonna be? Okay, don't get your hopes up. <gasps> Wooden animal head. Okay, and then we can combine those. Combine. I think I can complete the wooden goat yet. Now, yeah. Okay. A wooden figure of a goat looks like it was used in rituals. What what about it looks like it was used in rituals? <laughs> you know? Uh I like that it puts an X over the wells that you use, but it, it disturbs me that it also puts an X over the chickens that you kill. That's <laughs> disturbing to me. Oh, hey. Wait, this was not open before. I remember this. This was not open previously. Cam fluid and rusty scrap. Is it just loot? What's this? Teddy bear? That's an ugly teddy bear. Can we talk about how ugly this teddy bear is? Let's take a closer look. Okay, this is a treasure? To who? A slightly dirty teddy bear. The Duke will probably buy it. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Well, good thing. I mean, somebody's got to buy this thing. It, can you... Oh, wait. Yeah, can you open it? Can we rip it open with a knife? Is there stuff inside it? No. I'm just saying. Whoever made this teddy bear, like, has never made a toy before. Oh! Treasures galore, and that is it for here. Oh my god, You if you kill the crows, they do leave behind something. Awesome. I want to get that thing, but I don't know how. Alright. Now, from what I remember, there's another well over here, and I'm gonna open it now. Okay, well wheel? Alright, what's it gonna be? Don't get your hopes up. Might just be... <gasps> Necklace with two holes? <laughs> I like how the... The treasure has it, they have very literal titles. An ornate necklace made of pure gold. Something could fit in the depression, so it's a combinable. Right here, this is an iron insignia gate. And uh, we're here with the iron insignia key, so let's go. This is that Resident Evil backtracking with old key, or with new keys thing that. Are we, okay, don't judge me. <laughs> Shotgun ammo. What else is here? Locks from the other side. How is that possible? Oh, ho, ho. you thought you could get away. <laughs> I don't think so. Now, <laughs> the chickens with the X over it again. Um, all right, I don't think there's anything else for me to do here. Kind of underwhelming, actually, and I'm not sure how you even get in there. You, you've got to be kidding me. It's a goat. I got it. It's gone. By the way, there's uh, still something in the church, apparently. What? This was not here before. Somebody's setting up shop? Operation date 2-9-2021, recorded by NH. 11-35, arrived at site, no sign of EW or RW. Okay. Ethan Winters or Rosemary Winters, I guess. 12-10, infiltrated village, engaged with number of bioweapons. Found evidence of Ethan Winters, Rosemary Winters, location unknown. 13-10, established base in church. Plan of operations, LBTDK9 Search Laboratory, 
NHUE analyze mold samples, alpha infiltrate factory. Okay, so is this like Chris Redfield's crew or something like that? You know, something that I noticed earlier when I was reading, um, and I guess these are the four, right? Yeah, makes sense. When I was reading um, one of like, I think it was a thing that was by the phone at the beginning of the game. In regards to Mia, they said eliminate target, recover body. And then they addressed Ethan and Rose by their names, but they never said eliminate Mia Winters. So it makes me wonder, is the person that we were with really Mia Winters or was it someone else? Like, was it someone pretending to be her? Oh, by the way, Red Chimney is uh, this house right here. Wait, how'd I get, wait, wasn't I just over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh hey, it's this one. It's this house, locked from the other side. Okay, how do I get in there? Oh, oh, oh. Go up the ladder and then See, what is this, dude? Uh, Chris Redfield in here? Did he repel in? Oh. Uh, look at you, huh? You enjoying your meal? Is this overkill? I feel like this might be a little overkill. Raise your head up again. Okay, well. Dude, did that sniper rifle round do anything to you? I thought I got a headshot off, but I guess not. What is this? Okay, yeah, so there's a four-winged key and a two-winged key. All right. Oh, the winged key is just a single piece. Three more parts are needed to make it whole. Oh, like this? Wait, can I take that? I don't understand. February 1st, sacrifice two goats to Mother Miranda. Imagine this being your diary entry. <laughs> your entire diary entry. Sacrifice two goats. They sound so aloof about it. February 3rd, offered wool to Mother Miranda. She instructed I find her a list of drugs and tools in the next few days. What for, I wonder? February 8th, no messages from Mother Miranda, yet the livestock won't stop their ruckus. February 9th, I was instructed to take the items to the cave church at sunrise, but what I saw was frightful. The great four lords were there and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and touched the child. I can't explain it well, but the child turned into a white crystal. Then, then she, I couldn't help but speak up and I asked her why she did such a thing. Mother Miranda just smiled at me. This is the chosen child. She will return to her original form, no matter what befalls her. Then she gave each Lord a part of the crystal and a flask and they left. I forgot to bow to Mother Miranda before I fled. I'm still shaking. What'd she do? What is that child? Huh. Is that Rose that we're talking about? Cause I'm sorry. Like they did, th they did all that in a very brief amount of time, didn't they? Oh, journal, Ethan's diary. What, I have not even read these. Okay, we gotta read these. We gotta read Ethan's diary. February 9th, dawn. Some forest should have been night like any other, but then Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. He took Rose away, shot Mia right in front of me. I was knocked out, now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. What the hell is going on? February 9th, early morning, village square. I found a village just outside the forest, but one of the villagers was attacked and dragged off by some kind of beast. 
I managed to survive those creatures. And an old woman told me Rose is here. Somewhere. I need to find her. Before those monsters get to her too. Louisa's house. I found survivors huddled together at Louisa's house. I think she's the bigwig here. But then one of them turned into one of those creatures. He slaughtered everyone there. I get it. These monsters are the villagers, and this village is their den. I now know two things. That I'm the only one left, and that Rose might be in that castle. So that's where I'm going next. Okay. A mine is where we are now. Look at these sketches, by the way. How is he able to get these sketches, dude? Yeah, you have time for this. I was on my way to the castle when I was captured by a group of five twisted freaks. Heisenberg, a hammer-wielding asshole. Dimitrescu is the tallest woman I've ever seen. Donna has some kind of creepy doll. Moreau is some nasty pus-spewing thing. And last of all, their mother, Miranda. They can control those creatures too. Who or what are these people? What is happening? Wait, what I what I click? Oh, get me back on the diary. Castle courtyard. Can't find Rose anywhere in this damned castle. Perhaps she was never here to begin with, or maybe she's being kept somewhere else. Either way, there's no reason for me to stick around. Now I just have to escape. Tower of worship. That woman Dimitrescu turned into a monster, but I was able to kill her and escape. Found the strange flask. She said, "You'll never see your Rose again." Why can't I get that out of my head? At the altar. Rose's body is in these flasks? Who the fuck would do such a thing? My brain can't keep... <laughs> my brain... <laughs> mm. My brain can't keep up with everything that's happening right now. The Duke did say that there was a way to save her. It's hard to believe him, but... The only thing I can do is ask the man that lives in the house with the red chimney. And he's not here, dude. Anyway, the reason I came to the files... Um, where is it? Other tips? Like, oh my god, you just have to hit examine again. Damn it. Better see the Duke again. <sighs> I was like, am I, I I'm feeling, I was feeling mega stupid there. Wow. Okay, so I can't go back to the Duke. Um, or I can try to get back here and use the Iron Insignia key again. I think I might want to try to do that real quick before I go off and see the Duke again. There's another lockpick drawer for your viewing pleasure. This is the most recent one that I found. And, I mean, I, you know, I'll, I'll take shotgun ammo, I guess. I mean, that's totally fine with me. I just, I would, I don't know, I keep expecting it to be like some kind of rare treasure or something like that. Okay, here's another well that I haven't used. This is like way back at the beginning. I think this is the first one that I found. So, let's see what this is. Dude, another lockpick. That's great because there's a uh, drawer that needs to be unlocked right next door. So, let's go get it. Oh. What? Oh. There was just like a thing that I shot in here. And it came down. Nice. Oh. What? I'm sorry. I'm getting so much meat in here. Okay. Well, I, why don't I remember this? Because I remember going in here. Remember all this? I remember going in here. I remember getting attacked by a pig, though. Okay, anyway. I it's in here that I need to check. Um, let's see. Right here, right? Yeah, lockpick, let's go. Sniper rifle ammo. All right, not bad. Oh, we can't get back to the castle. The drawbridge is up. Ah. Uh, the old trick doesn't work. We can't go back to the castle. It sucks. Is there... Where? Are you... Are you out here? Oh, what? 
Okay. You, you want to play this game? All right. Did I get y'all? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Goodbye. What are y'all eating out here? I thought all the townspeople were dead, and then I keep seeing them get eaten by lichens, and it's like... Could have sworn y'all were dead, though. Like, everyone that was living was at Louise's house, were they not? Oh, they got the flying things over there. Okay. Um. Hey, idiots. Okay. Hi. Sorry. Oh my god, you're not- you're not dead? <laughs> I don't know why he's not disappointed, sorry. Wow, you're a sturdy pig! Dude. That is like, the tankiest pig of all time. Quality meat. All right, let's get the well wheel out of the way. Thank you. Wow. I'm missing a lot. Don't judge me. Okay, how about this? These things just like, weirdly kind of freak me out a little bit, you know? Anyway, what's over here? Three pipe bombs? That's it? Oh. Uh, I wasted a lot of ammo and killed a lot of these dudes. Oh, this whole thing's burned down. See, that's annoying because, uh, there's a red room in there. <laughs> where there's an item that I haven't picked up and I can't get back in. Uh, but there's, whoa. I'm sorry, what? Explosive rounds? Like for a grenade launcher. And they're here, why? I'm just gonna assume that Chris's people did it. Louisa's necklace? How did this end up here? Um, where is it? It's actually a key item. The necklace Louisa was wearing, it's dirty with ash. Huh. That's a key. I, I thought it was going to be a treasure, just like Ingrid's necklace, but instead, this one. Magnum ammo? What? I don't have a magnum or a grenade launcher. How dare you just bloat up my inventory with this? No way. Wow, I'm just... Call me the achievement hunter. <laughs> the achievement hunter. That's me. Man, I take out like five of those collectibles. I'm like, yeah, call me the achievement hunter. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm not even doing that much. Uh, okay. Where do I need to go now? Okay, I think I'm done with this section of the village. Lots of backtracking, lots of collecting, and I really enjoyed it. But I'm, oh. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Yeah, Ethan, have you not been paying attention? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. Oh, the second rest in lives peace. deep in a valley of mist, the doll maker, Donna Beneviento. I'm not looking forward to that. 
None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. Dank like cool dank or The third is Moreau, gross. a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth okay. and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Is he the most dangerous? Because, whoa. What, what is this map that I'm looking at? Wow. Water wheel weapon. What is this? Ah. So there's there's a lot that we have to look at. What's are what are the are these treasures? Water wheel weapon. Maestro's collection. Thank you. Louise's heirloom. I already got that one. Huh. That's weird that these are showing up on the on the map. Riverbank Treasure House. Look, it's got a big X over her. Interesting. Okay. Thanks, I think. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Thanks. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. I'll find Why all Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first class customer service. Please do come again soon. Very strange. You're a very strange man. Um, I'll be right back. Because this is another way back into the village, and I'm gonna take it right now. Uh, four-winged key? Let's go. The key won't fit. Wait, what? Four-winged unborn key is what it says. So I need another part. Oh, uh, okay. But I can go here. All right, I'll go in there in a second. First, uh, we got some As shopping to do. Ah, yes, I have you. Find some quality ingredients and bring them to me. Duke's Kitchen, you kill it, we cook it. Excuse you? There's cooking? There's cooking in this game. I was very curious about this. Wow. So the herbed fish, health slightly increases permanently. Bird and beast pilaf, damage taken when guarding decreases permanently. Three flavored mitite, I don't know, health increases permanently. Tochitora de pui, health greatly increases permanently. Siorba de pork, damage taken when guarding greatly decreases permanently. Sarmale de peste, movement speed increases permanently. That seems nice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have finest fish. I can make this. Carry on. For poultry. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. One meat. Thanks. Let's get cooking. I can't believe this is part of the game. What? Finished. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. I guess that's Ethan shoving it all down his gullet. Damage taken when gardening has a, Not a bad degrees dish. permanently. Okay. Thank you, I guess. It's all those chickens I killed. They came in handy, see? That's so strange to me. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. <laughs> it's just chowing down. He's... <laughs> I wouldn't mind having that again. Yeah, well, you're not going to have it again because I can only do it one time, I think. Yeah, it's completed. Hey, I can't do it again. I like how Ethan like smacks with his mouth open. Damn. Okay, let's sell some of this stuff. Vivianite, large crystal. Okay, um, I can sell all this for forty-two thousand. Do you know it's worth? A forty-two thousand, I guess. Look at that. I'm rich now. Okay. Securing I, I, goods is more important than anything. I wish you wouldn't say that anything, every single time, my friend. Okay, so I feel like an idiot for keeping the Lemmy 
and trying to upgrade it when I just got like I literally just got a better gun in, in pretty much every way except capacity which is the M1911 so let's go ahead and uh, upgrade Leave the firepower on that and uh, the let's see reload speed delighted to and ammo capacity sure sounds good to me um let's get the damage on the sniper rifle increased one moment please let's get the rate of fire and reload speed up and then i'm just gonna leave it all right i just saved in uh the church and i think that that's gonna do it was this what i saw the glinty it's a crystal fragment oh I was wondering what was in this church. All right, well, I got it. Um, well, hope you guys are enjoying Resident Evil Village so far. I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, let's see. We took out Lady Dimitrescu. Very sad. And now we can't go back to the castle, which is sad because uh, I hadn't quite 100 percented it. But I'll get over it someday. And in the next video, we will be going after one of the other four lords, and I'm anxious to see what that's going to be like. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you're enjoying the series. Thanks. Think critically. <laughs>